What's going on? YouTube, you're back with Shades, and we're going to continue our Let's Play of Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. It's been a long time since I've played this game. Uh, the, the main reason why I stopped playing this game is because it requires a lot of grinding, and for some reason my technology wouldn't want to work with it. Uh, but as of right now, it's... it's whoa, what the hell? Uh, it seems to be working fine. I don't know why the screen turns like that whenever I pause, but it seems to be having no frame rate issues anymore. Uh, I updated OBS, I updated to the latest person, version of this PSP emulator, and it seems to be working fine now. Um, otherwise, if there's going to be some frame rate issues, there might be a few. As of right now, I don't see any, unless it's lying to me. I don't think it's lying to me. And I hope it's not lying to me, because if it lies to me, then I'll be very sad. But as of right now, it seems to be fine. Uh, last time we left off, I had, to, had game came to Bose, I talked with the mayor, and they're not here. And we have to go to a specific, uh, place, and we have to look at the Bracer Notebook. I, I took some quests from the local Bracer Guild. Uh, they did have, did have some cutscenes, but hopefully that doesn't imp impede much. But... We have to go to the Hakan Gate, located along the East Bose Highway. Um, as I said before, that these videos will be a little longer than my typical videos. I actually need to rest my characters a little bit. They'll be longer than my typical videos because this is the RPG and there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of travel. And why does a loading screen look like that? Yes, rest. Thank you. I don't have a lot of money. Because um, I spent it all on armor and weaponry. Uh, I don't know why the loading screen looks like that. Um, it's probably the emulator. I'll probably just cut those parts out then. Um... But, um, in all honesty, um, as much as I would love, um, for this, uh, for this game to be a lot shorter than it actually is, uh, there's nothing I could do about it. Oops, I forgot to change something. Yep, there we go. Okay, so, again, there might be some frame rate glitches. I don't know why that screen does that. There's already some frame rate issues right now. The game, unfortunately, runs at 60, so it's gonna look gross. We are on the East Bose Highway, right? Yep, we're good. And then we have to go this way to the Hakan Gate. There's no sound drop yet. Alright then. Hold it right there. The Hakan Gate is currently not permitting civilian passage through the checkpoint. Unauthorized personnel are not to uh, are not allowed to pass this point. Sorry to make you waste your breath, but we are authorized to be here. I still have produced Mayor Maybell's letter with a flourish. Don't show off don't show off, girl. It's unbecoming. This is Mayor Maybells. The mayor has requested that we come and speak with General Morgan about the status of the search. As you can see, this document is official. But if you don't want to let us through, I'm sure you'll be hating life later. Um, I guess there's nothing we can do but let you through. Are you serious about this? Don't you know Mayor Maybell is the one in charge over the entire region? You can't just ignore that. I guess you're right. Alright. We'll grant you permission to pass, but make sure you don't cause any problems. Whatever happens, never forget we share a border with the Empire. Yeah, yeah, we got it already. Alright then, let us through. Well then, that was easy. There's a couple of frame rate drops here and there, but that's only because I'm recording at 30 and this game runs in 60. I will not be recording at 60 frames per second anymore. Uh, whoa, hello. Um, I'm not doing that only because, like, it takes too long for me to render the file. Oh, that was an easy kill. I forgot you had a voice. Because I turned it off when I when I grind. Oh, I need those. I need five of those, actually. If there's any more of those guys, I'll gladly kill them. There's one! Why is the screen like that? Maybe it's, my, maybe it's what I used to render. I don't know. Let me just quickly uh, scrub through this battle, because it's going to be easy. Oh, I didn't drop anything. Shame. I need five of those, so I might just take a quick pause and just gather those for the quest I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry. But that's why I'm recording these a lot longer, because it lets me talk to you guys, and not only that, but it lets me, like, do whatever I want in a quick amount of time. Although the battle skills could be a lot faster. I forgot her voice is sultry. Why aren't you dropping anything? Mm, that's an odd place for a gate. Oh, whoa, what are you? Oh, I guess those are babies that we're looking, that we're killing. And that's the big mama. Do -do -do -do. Wow, barely did any damage. Aren't you weak? Maybe they're purposely weak. Hmm. Let's take him out. 
Oh, wow, you're a big mama. Oh! Uh, let's see what you need. Oh, uh, wow, your efficacy. I'm not sure if elemental efficacy means like fire is good against it or if we should just deal with it. Feather shower, ah! Smack. Let's try something. Firebolt! Oh. Okay, that's weak to fire. Stop it, Sa Sharazad, that's your name. Didn't drop any meat. I need the meat. I need five of those meats. I'll get them later off screen, I guess. But I, um, honestly, the grinding is no longer necessary for me because, uh, I am super strong. Oh my god, I am super strong for this region. Um, had I known that, like, uh, that quest, that quest need was over here, I would have come here sooner. Erebonia Hakan Gate Border. That's getting annoying. I can't do anything about it, unfortunately. This is the Hakan Gate? It's freaking huge! Of course it's huge. It acts as the sole entrance to the Empire and its rampart that protects Libro from foreign threats. And it was destroyed in the war ten years ago. That's... As a much more robust wall was built in its place. Standard military reaction. Bigger equals better. Sometimes. Which means that beyond this point is no longer liberal. Yeah. It's the territory of the Erebonian Empire, which stands beneath the emblem of the Golden Stallion. The Erebonian Empire. <clears throat> well, enough staring for one day. Let's go meet with General Morgan. There's some barracks right there to the side of the gate. Maybe we'll find him in there. If I remember correctly, General Morgan's a dick. Okay, let's go. Before that, I want you to remove those bracer emblems you got pinned on your chest. Things will be pretty if General Morgan see sees those. Oh, I forgot all about that. They remove their bracer emblems because Morgan does not like bracers. He thinks they're useless. Some might feel all weird doing this. Yeah, there's something that just doesn't feel right about this. That's proof you started adjusting to being a bracer. Anything over here? Ah! Huh! Mochi! <laughs> My dog barked and he scared me. Oh, this is an inn. Mochi! Okay, that's his name is Carlos. That's an inn over there. <sighs> okay, so the barracks over here. How in the world did you guys get through? The barricade hasn't been lifted on the Eisen Road yet. We came here on an errand from, from Mayor Maybell from Bose. Think you can get us to see General Morgan? Joshua explained what the mayor requested without disclosing his identity. Well, that's understandable. In that case, I could definitely get you to see, to see the general, but unfortunately, he's out at the moment. He's actually spearheading a number of searches right now. Looks like our timing was bad. You don't have to have an idea where he might, when he might return, do you? I think he'll be back sometime today. There's a bar in the rest stop over there. Why don't you wait there for him? I'll let you know when he gets back. A bar and a rest stop? Why is there a bar in a place like this? Obviously because it's the border with the Empire. The screening process for those entering and leaving the country is really strict, so there are a lot of travelers that have to wait quite a bit. Hit my mic, mic again, sorry. So that makes sense. In that case, it's understandable that you would need facilities like an inn and a bar. Well then, we'll take you up on your suggestion and wait over at the bar. Oh no, Sherazad's gonna get drunk. You're gonna get crunk. The transition screen is going to really annoy me. If I remember correctly, you're a big character. What a surprise. This is my first time eating liberals cooking. It was rather delectable. Well, I'm glad you liked it. If you head to town, there's a number of other places you can get... You can eat great liberal cooking as well. I wonder if they're liberal with their spices. That I will do. I believe me. If this is the kind of food I can get in a border dive like this, then I'm truly I'm in a, for a feast elsewhere in this land. But excuse me for having my bar on the outskirts of the country. Anyway, how about a glass of wine? I know it's not high-end exactly, but the taste is worth the, the price. Hold on. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. The dog was being fairly loud, so I had to make him stop. But anyway. Hmm, well then, maybe I will. Do you think this, do you think this guy is? He looks like a traveler from the Empire, if you ask me. Yeah, he's important. I think he joins the party later. 
That blonde-haired man over there is rather well, had to be well dressed. But I've talked, I found him a little odd. I'm a merchant from the Arabodian Empire. I'm on my way to Bose. Cool. I should really sell these old weapons, but I don't know. Let's trade some Sepith while we're here. I usually sell a lot of it. Because, like, it's the only way you can get Mirror in this game, apparently. Okay, so do we rest in here? Let's talk. What we don't have is. Um, Cures KO heals 50 HP. Trade. Hope oh, you can only buy and sell these two, I guess. Let's just rest then. Rest. Rest. I, the thing is about this game is that items are kind of hard to come by because you, you either craft them, which requires ingredients, or you buy them, and then the, I, uh, items are weird. Let's talk to this guy again. Good day to you all, my fine friends. You appear to be citizens of Liberal. May I ask you if you're traveling to the Empire? Nope, we're just on an errand. We're not traveling to the Empire. You appear to be a citizen of Arabonia yourself. What about you? Are you here to visit the Liberal Kingdom? Ha <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I'm indeed a visitor in Liberal, both for work and for pleasure. And you, you say you're running an errand, I, but I could see your true colors. I know exactly who you are. Who we are? Indeed, your bracers know. How'd you know? We removed our emblems. Wait, did you try to tell us that you're in the same profession? It's true that there are guild branches in the Empire, but no, I'm not a bracer. I just know several people in the guild, that's all. And there's an air about you that reminded me of them. So I just thought I'd ask. There are some, that's some, those are some excellent deductive reasoning skills you got. I don't think an amateur could have picked us out of a crowd like that. Are you sure you're a traveler? Should have restarted my timer. Ha, <laughs> please don't look at me with such suspicious eyes. Those cold flicker guys of amber are just like a glass of exquisite brandy. You could make it, you could just, you make me want to kiss you and hold you in my arms. Ew. I'm a child, sir. What? You're a bold one, aren't you? Wait a minute. I you one of those men that likes other boys. I just can't help myself when I see something beautiful standing before my eyes. Daughters of serenity, sons of elegance. He swings both ways. Supernatural melodies, the cleansing landscapes, masterpieces and stories that move the soul. And last but not least, the most exquisite in food and drink. For thing, for things that you. Uh, for, th th for things such as these are which piqued my interest. So, you're a pervert, just like I thought. Yep, definitely a pervert. How dreadful that, th that... How dreadful it is that genius is misunderstood in every generation. I feel as if my delicate glass heart is about to be broken. You, with your magnificent black hair. Please comfort me in my time of need. I'm gonna have to have... I'm gonna have to pass. You've already scarred me for life as it is. I've heard strange conversations in my day, but this one's worth remembering. The look on the kid's face. Ha! Hey, you three. Oh, it's a soldier from earlier. The general has just returned. I just spoke to him about the matter. He said he'll meet you now. R really? Yeah, so come to the barracks with me immediately. Wow, that was much quicker than I thought. Yeah, at least now we'll be able to find out what's going on. Well, okay then, let's be off, shall we? Wait, you're joining us? Now? He uses a gun, if I remember correctly. Why are you following us around for? Hang on. What are you following us around for? Your timing is excellent. You didn't miss a beat in exiting behind us. It almost seemed natural. Scarily so. Huh, you noticed? Everything about you all just seems so interesting, I thought I'd take a gander. Please don't mind me. Carry on, my good gent and mademoiselles. Of course we're going to mind. Now get you. Shoo. Shoo. Scrooge. He joins the party later and he's actually a pretty good uh, party member. I like having range. But I don't think we get to pick our, ever get to pick our party in this game. We just get dealt with people. Who was that guy? Seriously, what was his deal? He's not normal, that's for sure. Getting rid of that weirdo is probably better not only for ourselves, but a service for the, for the world at large, too. 
Let's get her and meet with the general. Whee! Yep, see, there's a bit of a flame, bit of frame rate drop there when I move really fast, but that doesn't really matter. I could hear some arguing. Was there some kind of problem with another traveler? Nothing big like that. That aside, could you let us meet with the general? Yeah, he's inside. Hitting the wrong keys again. His office is the last door on the left. Make sure you don't go wandering around in other places where you're not permitted. Yes, sir. Uh, down the hall, last one on the left. This one? This one? The end of the hall on the left. It looks like this is the general's room. Knock. Alright, here goes nothing. Are you here on behalf of Miss Maybell? That's right. Very well, come inside. Thank you for seeing us. I'm glad you came. My name is Morgan. I've been tasked with guarding the Hakan Gate by Her Majesty, Queen Alicia. It's an honor to meet you, sir. We're on here on behalf of M Mayor Maybell. Please pardon our intru intrusion during a busy time. There's need to apologize. I know Maybell said she was but a child. I couldn't imagine ignoring her request, much less one from the mayor. All right, then. Would you please read this first? Handing over the letter. Hmm. So it is about the missing airliner, is it? Under ordinary circumstances, the information would be strictly confidential, but considering this is a request coming from her, I will tell you everything I know. Sweet. Huh? Why are you so happy about something that doesn't concern you? Crap, I should have kept my mouth shut. The mayor appears quite distraught over the situation, and so I wanted to do anything we can to assist her. I see. Well, glad to hear that she has been blessed with some good people around her. Let me get straight down to things and explain the status of our search efforts. Please do. The airliner, Lind, disappeared off its way to Roland after taking off from the Bose landing port. Presently, we have units searching in all areas of the region, but we have yet to come up with anything. So what you're saying is, the possibility of the incident being caused by monsters or an accident is fairly slim, right? If an airship of that size had crashed, it would likely would have been discovered in the initial search efforts. Yes, that's exactly right. In fact, the flight route between Bose and Roland goes over some planes that allow a commanding view of the land. And of course, the probability of the airliner going down in Valeria Lake or the ocean is extremely low. Boy, am I relieved to hear that. It's probably not a worst case scenario. So if those have been ruled out, then it leaves the door open to the possibility that the airship could have been taken, right? Which makes me think that only the remaining motives must be to loot the cargo or demand a ransom for the hostages. In other words, a hijacking, right? Also considering the geographical conditions, it could have been a covert operation carried out by the Imperial Army. It'd be really big news if that were, and it would, that would be really big news if that were the case. What's the matter, General? I was just thinking that's quite an impressive assessment for some civilians. We also considered the possibility that the Imperial Army was involved, so we've enforced the strict regulations on the flow of information. An international incident, if taken lightly, could result in another war. War. But thanks to small mercies, the small mercies of Idios, the possibility for another conflict disappeared early this morning. A certain organization sent a letter to the Royal Family and Orbital Ship Co Company claiming responsibility and demanding a ransom for the passengers. The organization goes by the name of the Kapua Family. The Kapua Family? It couldn't be who I think it is, could it? It certainly appears to be that way. The Sky Bandits who have been operating in the shadows of the Bose region and are led by three siblings at their head. I take it you've heard of them? Not only have you heard of them, we had a run-in with them in Roland. I can't believe those good-for-nothing thieves that have managed to create such a big incident here in Bose. Still. Eh, oops. You had a run-in with them in Roland? Heard that some of their gang showed up in Roland region, but... I think he's on to us. Yeah, because of you and your big mouth. I see now. I thought the way you were able to analyze the situation was strange for mere civilians. But I never would have guessed that a girl and a couple of kids like you were bracers. Thanks, Estelle. Look what you did. Who are you calling kids? Just for the record, Mayor Mabel did in fact request that we come here to talk to you. Silence, deceivers! Get in here, men. He looks pretty pissed. So this is how hard-nosed military man acts, huh? What's the matter, General? Did the visitor try to pull anything funny? These bracers need to be shown the door. Throw them out immediately.
Just what's your problem, old man? Trying to brush us off like bugs. Huh, <laughs> you're no different. Hiding our identity so you could try to finagle some information out of me. It's because you pulled on her hand and actions like that that Bryce just can't be trusted. Just where do you get off calling off calling just where do you get get off calling it finagling? It's your own fault you didn't share information with the guild to begin with. Nonsense! Who in the right would leave it to do a big hands of a mere civilian group? I swear of all the stupid things Mabel could have tried to pull. Hiring a bunch of kids like this and getting in the way of our search party. How about you cut it with a crap, General? Why do you think we've had to come all the way from a roulette to begin with? It's because when it comes down to it, your military morons can't do your job. Oh shit. What did you just say? Holy cow. Sheriff's really pissed, alright. For the past few months, you've known about the string of burglaries which seem to be work of the Sky Bandits, right? And who, knowing full well it was them, dumped the workload onto the guild instead of looking into it themselves like they should have, huh? And now, the second this incident happens, you get on your high horse with an attitude. Y yet you got nothing to show for it. No hostages or even the location of the missing airliner. Don't you think it's an embarrassment to the entire kingdom? Wow, you just came for his life. <laughs> Silence, girl! The military is an organization that runs on discipline and does not take action on a whim. Unlike a group who I didn't think ahead and let Sky Bandits escape, so enough with your insolence. So you're really looking for a fight, aren't you? How sad it is to see such discord. Hello, Mr. Strife brings nothing to be born, but only extends the barren wilderness within our hearts. Let me sing a requiem for you all, one to soothe your parched souls. A gentle yet fistful tune to bathe your brittle spirits and cause the deserts of your heart to bloom. Barely shooting stars, leaving trails in the sky. Like a guiding light, they show me the way to your eyes. This yearning passion tears my heart in twain. And the cruel moon mocks my pain. If this fleeting dream shall never be. I wish I could skip this on my own. A single wound will remain in my heart for all to see. Our passionate first and final keys. Keys. Your tears to me are an amber, please. Ew! <laughs> amber? Let us immure this eternal love. <laughs> Everyone's like, the fuck? Ah, it looks like all you- You understood what I was trying to get across. What is it that is most precious above all? That's love and peace, baby. Oh god. <coughs> I think it's about time for the search party to return in with their true reports. That's right, General. I should be getting back to my duties and make sure you don't let those kids in again. Oh, and cancel any further checks on the travelers along the Eisen region road. Having these kids are running the log road just be an eyesore. Right away, sir. He ran away. I wish we could escape. He's still behind us, isn't he? Ha! Ah, you! Ha ah, ha! No matter which country you visit, military men lack romanticism. But you lot, on the other hand, appear to appreciate my aesthetic sense. Oh. You know, maybe we should just get going ourselves. Yeah, good idea. We had a bit of trouble, but we did manage to get some information. After we head back to Bose, how about we think about our future plan of attack? Where are you going? Wait for me! I mean, please wait for me! Let me try and introduce myself again. I'm Oliver Lenheim, a wandering bard and musician by trade. As you already know, I'm an Erebonian, I am an Erebonian touring your fair and liberal. I'm Estelle, and... Now wait a minute, why do we have to introduce ourselves to you? Easy Estelle, he did intercede for us back there. I'm Joshua. And I'm Sherazard. Things are getting pretty heated and I'm glad you stepped in before something really bad happened. Let me just say thanks. Oh, you've got nothing to thank me for. I only did what any person who loves beauty and peace would have done. However, if you insist, how about, 
How about going on a date with me for a day? I'm going to have to pass on that. First of all, I don't have that sort of free time. That's too bad. Alright then, guess I'll just accept Joshua as a substitute. Why do I have to do any- any- What do I have to do with anything of any of this? Please don't involve me in your questionable humor. Well, that's odd. I didn't mean it as a joke. Saying that makes you even more questionable. Now just admit it. How come you didn't invite me on a date? You. Um, I don't know how to put this, but you're lacking in the sexy department. <laughs> Poor Estelle. I, I don't know why, but like... All like RPGs or JRPGs or Japanese media in general always makes tomboys out to be the unattractive ones or the weird ones. And I'm like, no! In my opinion, the tomboys are like are some of the more attractive ones. At least they're allowed to be themselves. Like in Persona 4, like my best girl for me was uh, Chie. And in Persona 3, Persona 3, best girl for me was uh, Yukari. And they're the more gruff, rough ones. And I'm like, why do people hate them? I, I don't mind. But again, uh, I don't know. It's personal preference, I suppose. Estelle's not my type, I, I think. I don't know. You might want to think about taking a lesson to from your friends here. Well, excuse me for not being sexy. And just what do you mean I should say take a few lessons from Joshua? C calm down, Estelle. I think you're cute enough the way you are. Though I guess it's true. You are a bit lackluster in the sexy category. What did you just say? Oh, good grief. Anyway, like I said before, we're busy. I'm sorry, that's not a better way to thank you, but we've got to get going. Hmm, then how about... You take me along with you to the city of Bose. This is my first time in Liberal, after all, and I'd like to request a guide. Well, if that's all you want, then I don't mind. Shara, not just a second. It's the least we can do, and we're heading to the same place anyway. Plus, acting as a guide is one of my bracer's many duties. Oh, all right, I guess we're stuck with him until then. What if Trisha sink his poisonous fangs of lust to Joshua? Uh, Estelle? Don't you worry, Joshua. I'll save from his perverted attentions if he tries anything funny. What is it exactly you think he'll try? Please don't refer to me like I'm a ferocious beast. I'd rather you call me a hunter of love. Even love stealer wouldn't be a bad title either. <laughs> Are you right in the head? So how about it? Everyone, shall we leave for Bose? I'm counting on you all to get me there safely. Now let us be off. Who died and made you leader? Hey, wait a minute, you. I'm not done warning you about the grisly fate that awaits you if you're sully Joshua's, in Joshua's innocence. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna have to end the part here. I'm at my 30 minute mark. Um, this is interesting. Um, cause the reason why I came back to this game was simply put, um, I, I bought the, uh, the sequel to this. Because I've been waiting for a really long time to see that sequel. Because I played this full game. I, I may not remember everything about it, but I remember when I got to the end. And I knew there was a sequel coming out. Like a direct sequel. I was like, I have to play that game. And now I hear there's a third one out there. And I'm like, oh my god. You're gonna kill me, game. Legend of Heroes team, whoever you are. You make good games. And your games are fun to play. It's just... Why you gotta chase me? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos from me or from the series, hit the subscribe button. And if you're not exiting the Shadyverse, my name is Shades, and I hope you've enjoyed your day in the shade. See you guys next time. Bye.